Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to the ark on Saturday morning. Well, the Sabbath of the Lord. There's a song that says, the power of the Lord is here. Yes. <laughs> and we like to say around here, the Sabbath of the Lord is here, you know. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. It's time to engage with God. To worship God like we mean it. Hallelujah. Amen. I love all of you. I love everybody watching on live stream. Thank you for joining us. But it is really time to engage with God. I want you to make that your prayer today. Let's engage with Him in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you. We love you. Worship with us. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor King. Hallelujah. Are you here to have church this morning? Praise God. I love the Lord and all that He has done. Entering and into this place. Hallelujah. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't let the world take the blood out because without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Hallelujah. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's tide. There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power. Power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Now would you be wider, much wider than snow? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Sin stains are washed in His life-giving flow. There's wonderful power in the blood. Well, there's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you do service for Jesus, my King? There's power in the blood power in the blood would you live daily his praises to sing there's wonderful power in the blood well there's power power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb there is power power wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb oh there's power power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb there is power power wonder working power in the precious blood oh i like this now would you be wider much wider than snow there's power in the blood there's power in the blood sin stains are lost in its life-giving flow there's wonderful power in the blood thank you lord there is power power wonder working power oh in the blood of the lamb there is power Power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad for the blood? Hallelujah. Aren't you glad for the sacrifice? Hallelujah that the Lord put on Calvary. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sacrifice himself. Hallelujah for the perpetuation. Hallelujah of men. God, I love you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you for the blood, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Why don't you just take a moment and just love on the Lord, would you? Would you do that, please? Hallelujah. Just love on the Lord today. Mm, thank you, Jesus. God, I lift my hands, I lift my heart into your presence. Hallelujah. I want to step into the realm of the supernatural, Lord, to be in your presence. Hallelujah. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. Holiness, holiness is what you want for me. Hallelujah. Sing it again. Oh, Lord, holiness, holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. Holiness, holiness is what you want from me. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Take my, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Take my life. Transform it. Take my will. Would you conform it to yours? To yours. To yours. Sing it again. Take my heart and form it. Take my mind. Would you transform it, Lord? Take my will. Conform it to yours. To yours, oh Lord. Sing it again. Take my heart. Would you form it? Take my mind. I need you to transform it. Take my will. Conform it. Hallelujah. To yours. To yours. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Faithfulness is what I long for. Faithfulness is what I need. Would you look inside yourself today? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. It's what you want from me. Oh, God. God, I want to be faithful. Hallelujah. Oh, take my heart and form it. Take my mind. Transform it. Take my will. Conform it to yours, to yours, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, righteousness. Righteousness is what I long for. Righteousness, 
is what I need, Lord, to be set apart for you. Righteousness, righteousness is what you want from me. Sing it again. My God, hallelujah, help us to be righteous before you today, Lord. Righteousness, righteousness is what I long for. Righteousness is what I need. Righteousness, righteousness is what you want from me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, take my mind and form it. Would you take my mind and transform it? Take my will and form it to, to yours, yours to yours, yours oh lord take it in take my mind and form it take my heart lord jesus take my mind and transform it take my will and conform it to yours to yours oh Lord hallelujah mm. yes Lord sing it again to yours to yours oh Lord hallelujah the righteousness of Almighty God. To Hallelujah yours, that we carry. To yours, oh Lord. It's not by my righteousness. It's not by anything that to I have done. Yours, it's not by yours, anything that I have done. Oh Lord. oh Lord. Sanctified and set apart. Yours, walking in your righteousness. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Take it, Lord. Take my will. Take my heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Would you pray that prayer today? Would you pray that prayer today? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. God, your word says that heart is so deceitful and wicked. I need your heart to be meshed and to be united with your heart. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Isn't the Lord good? Hallelujah. Isn't the Lord good? Yes, amen. Hallelujah. One week, Hallelujah. he's just plowing through and just cleaning house. Hallelujah. And the next week, he's just softening the hearts of his people. So you can receive everything that he has for you today. Did you realize that? Did you check in? Did you see that? Hallelujah. He's working on your heart. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Sing it, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful beyond.
description yes. Yes, you are, Lord. to marvelous for words to <laughs> wonderful <laughs> for comprehension like nothing ever seen or heard who can grasp your infinite wisdom who can fathom the depth of your love oh my god <laughs> you are beautiful beyond description yes you are lord majesty majesty enthroned, enthroned. Above. i stand i stand in all of you i stand i stand in all of you
your infinite wisdom who can fathom the depth of your love you are beautiful beyond description yes you are lord Yes, you are. Majesty enthroned oh, my God. Hallelujah. Now everybody stand in awe. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. you to come out in the in the aisles and dance you do it because that's what he wants you to do he may not want everybody else to do that and that's okay Mm. hallelujah yes i stand i stand in all of you i stand i stand in all of you
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Move how you would move, Holy Spirit. I eliminate any bondage in this place. I break it and I eliminate it in the name of Jesus. Any hindrance in this place, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. We break and bind and eliminate it in the yes, name of Yeshua Hamashiach. I'm standing in awe of you, Lord Jesus. Holy. Holy, holy. Holy. Mm. Holy, 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 holy. Mi ha sciata chi ha la la bruzzotta. Ha sciata chi ha la la bruzzotta. Ha sciata chi ha la bruzzotta. Ha sciata chi ha la la bruzzotta. Ha sciata la bruzzotta. Ha la my soul, my soul, my soul. My soul is magnified, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
One of you are possessed of the Spirit of the Lord. You need to be praying right now. We need to be very comfortable in this atmosphere. We need to welcome in His glory. Welcome in His presence. It's here. He's here. He's manifesting. He's looking for a hungry heart to fall upon, to remain in. Don't say, well, I don't believe that. What do you believe God for? Hallelujah. He that has ears to hear, she that has ears to hear, let him come. 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 come quickly, Lord Jesus. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let him come and drink of the water of life freely. Come on now. Come on, tap into that spirit, that underflow and that current, that river that's, that's flowing through this place right now. Some of you have been walking in ankle deep water. Now it's time to get out into knee deep and waist deep and up to your chest and waters to swim in. Let the deep in you call to the deep things of God. Let all of His billows wash over you. Jesus.
trust in He, Lord of you. I stand, I stand in love of you. I stand, I stand in love of you. Holy God, to all praises to I stand. He Lord of you. Thank you, Jesus. I stand, I stand in love you. I stand, I stand in love you, holy God, to whom all praise is due, I stand in love of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Travailing before you, God. Yeshandori kiata. Yakiyashandori kiata ishiata. Let your waves of glory fall, God. Hallelujah. Waves of glory, God. Waves of healing. Waves of strength. Waves of joy. Hallelujah. Waves of surrender, God. This is where you learn to swim in deep waters. You push past what's normal. You go past your barriers that you've preconceived and set up in your mind. And you push past. This is where the deep things of God are. Total surrender. Total surrender. Total vulnerability. Total transparency. Yeshua! We want Book of Acts prayer meetings where the place is shaken. It's one mind and one accord in one place. Come on, push people of God. Pray until something happens. Pray until something happens. Present yourself before the Lord. Yes. Jesus.
This is the atmosphere where lives are, ch lives are changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We exalt you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Oh.
this is what we're going to do. I believe the power of the Lord is present to heal and to deliver. I want to share this passage of scripture with you. Then I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Psalm 103, a psalm of David, commands us to bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, to bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all of your iniquities, who heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. Here's what I want to do. You need deliverance. You need a healing. There's a reason I have my, my boots off. If you are in that category, you need deliverance, you need a healing in your life. I want you to come to this area right here. And the ministry will lay hands on you, we'll pray, and we'll speak the word of the Lord over your life. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to take off your shoes. I want you to take off your shoes when you come because, and if you come, that's up to you. This is holy ground. So anyone who wants deliverance, you want healing, you want something done in your life, this is holy ground. And this is what I want, I want the ministers as well. Take it off your shoes. If you're going to minister up here, this is holy ground. I want your shoes off. Now Joshua was around Jericho. Joshua chapter 3, this actually was in my message. And he was surveying the city. And he looks and he beholds by the wall. He sees, he sees one with the sword drawn. And, and he says, are you for us or are you for our enemies? And he says, no, but I'm here in the, I'm paraphrasing. I'm here as the captain of the Lord of armies. And he says, take off your shoes. This is holy ground, the place you stand. And we know the story. Jericho was shut up. They were in a siege. The children of Israel were going to march around Jericho seven times on the seventh day. And the walls were going to fall. They were going to burn the city with fire. Doesn't sound like much of a holy ground, does it? But Joshua sees, his eyes are opened up, and he sees the Lord of armies standing by Jericho with this sword drawn. Because you know what? We were talking last night about being present before the Lord. Joshua showed up before the battle to survey what would become a great victory. And God was already there with the sword drawn. How else could sound from some shofars bring down 30 foot thick walls? Or however thick they were. But the sword was already drawn. The victory was already at hand. And then he said, this is a holy place. You take off your shoes because God has already worked here. And all you got to do is show up. So that's what I want you to do. 
We're going to pray for you. We're going to anoint you with oil. We're going to speak the word of the Lord over you. Come with your shoes off. If that's not you and you don't want to do that, that's between you and God. But this is holy ground. And we need to learn to obey God. And when he asks us to do things that don't violate Scripture, we need to do it in Jesus Christ's name.
saw past the woman washing Jesus' feet with her hair and pouring out that expensive perfume. I saw past her, I saw past the broken jar to the oil that was inside of it. And I saw the oil, but past the oil, I saw all of the components of that oil. The olives, the flowers, the bark of the cinnamon tree, all the things that had come together. And if you assembled all those and you put them in a box, there would have been some worth in that box, but not a lot. But when all those ingredients were crushed and pressed, squeezed and heated, you could no longer find the flowers. You could no longer find the bark. You could no longer find the olives. But what was left was just oil. And it was precious. People judged her for her offering, judged her for that oil. But it moved Jesus. And you've been through the fire, and you've been crushed, and you've been pressed. Pour it out. Pour it out on Jesus. Pour out your love on him. He knows what you've been through. He's been there. And what's left when we pour it out to him is just a fragrant oil. Pour out my release. We release.
Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah, Lord. I want to I wanna know, you, know, you can lift up your hand. Did you feel God in this house? Do you feel God in the house? Amen. Praise the Lord. Do you know why? Because some of us figured something out. We figured out that when we come to God, we've we got to come to Him, not just as it's a, a normal worship service, a normal, I'm going to come, we're going to sing a few songs, we're going to hear a good word, I'm going to feel good for a moment, I'm going to leave, and go back to all the pressures, go back to all of the stuff that has been uh, hampering me, that's on my back, job trouble, family trouble, expectations not being met at home, whatever it is. In spite of all of that, some of us said, you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm going to do different today. I'm going to present myself to the Lord, and I'm going to say, here I am. I'm going to stand before you. I'm going to listen. I want to see what you uh, are going to say and trust you. There was a big difference, big difference up here. Now, I know we have good worship services. Just, just, listen, to, just listen to me. This is from my heart, okay? A shepherd's heart. But... Uh, there were just waves, waves and more waves and and uh, just kept flowing. And then we got to that point, we wanted to stop. And, no, we just kept going and kept pushing and releasing. And then God released more. There's always more. And I think if you walk away from this place today uh, without the Lord uh, doing something in your life, or one, you didn't come to present yourself to him. You didn't hear his word. Or you just weren't engaged. You, you weren't present. We talked about being present uh, last night. In Jesus' name. I don't, um, hallelujah, I don't, I don't. You had the word. I, I, I just, uh, I'm not going to preach a message or anything. Ain't God good. Ain't God good. But what I would like to do, let's do this before we go. 
I want us to, uh, we're going we're gonna to take our tithes and offering and uh, present that to the Lord. We have ways to give. We have a website, www.revivalcenterperu.com. We have a Cash App version, and we have a PayPal version. So we got that money sign, ARC Peru, that's A-R-C Peru, and then PayPal, uh, paypal.com slash paypal me slash A-R-C Peru. Please make checks payable to the ARC or the Revival Center. And um, you can access those links at the website, and you can also do them on their own. So if I could just have a few ushers that would come, please, and uh, we'll take up our tithe and offering. This is, it itself is worship as well. Thank you so much for your support. I want to let you know God loves you. God absolutely loves you. But I want to encourage you to, to, to listen for him, to feel that pull that he does so gently. You want prophetic ministry. You want healing ministry. You want to know the secrets. They are in his to give. And uh, most of the time, we just don't show up. And so we need to show up. So let's show up in our giving. And thank you for showing up today. Father, Almighty God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we just thank you that uh, we are able to be givers. And then when something leaves our hand, Lord, we know you're going to fill the hand back up. But God, we understand that before it ever left the hand, it was in our heart to do. Lord, give us a heart to be generous, a heart to give, a heart to love, a heart to be poured out and to pour out. And take this, what we are offering, multiply it and divide it severally as you will and add to your church such as should be saved for the kingdom's purpose, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Everyone said amen. Amen. Thank you so much. If you didn't watch last night's discussion on our Kingdom Conversation live stream, go back and look at that. Go back and look at that. Okay? Can we do that? It's 1248. So, um, unless you want me to preach, I will. But if you don't... <laughs> If y'all if y'all need to go, you can go. Uh, I, want, I want to make a couple you can announcements go in peace. first. Oh, we need announcements. See, we're doing things backwards today. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> Let God get us out of our routine. Um, go ahead. Just real quick, I I had asked you guys to pray for my aunt, my mom's sister down in Mississippi. Everything turned out well with the ultrasound. Yes, praise God. <clears throat> Amen. Um, Sister Amy, what she was heading up with the nursing homes tomorrow is canceled, and on Monday is canceled. Her parents fell recently, and her dad actually tore her or his rotator cuff. So, I mean, pretty, yeah, pretty serious. So she's kind of helping them from what I understand. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. But right now, she's going to let me know whenever that's going to be restarted. Um, Nathan Newfarth is doing better. He is still in. Yes, Amen. He's still in the nursing home, but doing better, improving. Praise God. That was a serious situation. We still have our Monday and Wednesday night, Monday night prayer meeting and Wednesday night Bible study. Everybody is invited. Passover, guys. Um, there seems to be some confusion on some of this. We are celebrating it April 24th, not tomorrow. I know there's different calendars and such out there. This is what Pastor King has deemed as right at this point in time. If we come to a different knowledge in the future, which we are all supposed to grow, right? 
then we will let you know. But right now it is the Passover banquet is Wednesday, April 24th from 6 to 8 p.m. here at the church. It's a pitch-in style, bring food, bring a dish that will feed about eight to 10 people at least. And we'll have the Lord's Supper then too. We're not going to get into all of the tradition, Jewish traditional things. That's not Bible, okay? We're trying to keep it as biblical as possible. Um, so that's where we're at on it. There is a sign-up sheet out here. Some people have already utilized that. Thank you. Um, the meat will be provided already. So and when, whatever dish you bring, please bring a serving utensil. Okay, if you bring mashed potatoes, let's not grab it with our hands. <laughs> okay? Uh, <laughs> just being funny, we won't really do that, okay? <laughs> but please bring a serving utensil. It is formal, if you don't want to dress formal, you don't have to, but realize you might feel out of place, depending on how everybody else dresses. And please invite everybody you know. This is not just for our four and no more. Just as with any service, any Bible study, any prayer meeting, anybody is welcome, right? Amen. We need to show ourselves friendly, not sourly. <laughs> Seeing some of y'all back there is funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I wanted to make mention that we are still having the skit practice today, correct? Okay. At 4? 4.30? 4.30. Okay, 4.30 skit practice. <clears throat> Be here at the church at that time. And I believe it's going to be for an hour. So um, that's for the youth. April 13th, there's going to be something going on. We're trying to figure out all the details on that for the youth, but we'll let y'all know. And the next, the next time we have a youth service is in two weeks from Friday. So I'm sure the youth are excited. I'm excited. If y'all didn't come, come next time. It's awesome. Yes, they did a great job. It's not so easy getting up here and talking in front of people. It's different when you're talking one-on-one, -on -one, right? <laughs> you have to, you know, picture people with crazy looks on their faces or something not to care. So that's all I wanted to say. Was there anything else? Yes, I have that on here. Totally skipped over it. Sorry. Bobby has her Bible study tomorrow at the boardwalk. So that is not here. That is actually at her work. Um, and they're not working on Sundays, but that's where it is. So if you have any questions, please let her know. That starts at 3 p.m. Ladies and girls, 14 and up only, unless you are nursing a child, that's always the exception. Thank you all. Amen. Now we have announcements. I encourage you all to uh, study out, study to show yourself approved unto God. We know the scripture, right? Study or show yourself approved unto God. A workman that works, I, I can't remember it all right now. It's skipping, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes, to rightly divide the word of truth, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we need to learn to rightly divide the word of truth, and these festivals that we celebrate are the word of truth. I'm going to tell you all something about Passover. Um, in the book of Exodus, Passover was to commence on the, the 14th day of the first month of the uh, month of Aviv or Nisan or on the Hebrew biblical calendar. And uh, we try as, as much as we can. I go by, and I'm not saying I'm not, uh, I, that, you know, uh, that I'm not open for revelation. God, give me revelation. I want truth. We go by different, uh, I look up the Hebrew calendars because we try to go by the Hebrew calendar and um, hebcal.org is one of them. And, and somehow the way they structure their months, I don't think they add a month uh, every for the leap year. There's a whole lot there, okay? Just know that we are trying. We want to be faithful before God and, and to show up at His appointed times. But did you know there, could, there were two Passovers actually in Exodus and Leviticus? Uh, do you know who the second one was? You say, well, Jesus died on the Passover. He went into the grave on 
uh, the days of unleavened bread. He raised up three days and three nights later uh, at, at first fruits. But the second month, the 15th day, was a Passover as well that was for those who were unclean at the first Passover. So they couldn't participate in the first Passover if they were unclean. So the second month and the 15th day, they could participate in that Passover. Well, how many of you know we need to be clean? And the Lord is inviting you and he's inviting all who will come and all who will hear his word and listen to come to his Passover so he can wash you or you have no part with him. Amen? Remember the story. Jesus was washing the feet of the disciples and those in the house and Peter says, Lord, don't wash me. I'm not worthy of this. And he says, Peter... If I don't wash you, you have no part in me. Or Simon. Simon, actually, at that time. He wasn't going by Peter. But you get, you get the principle. If I don't wash you, you have no part in me. And then, he's, then he wises up and he says, Lord, not only my, my feet, do my hands and my head as well. Wash my thoughts. Wash my deeds. Because my deeds are connected to my thoughts. <laughs> and why don't you wash my feet too? So if God doesn't wash you, you have no part with Him. But He loves you that much, so He, so he invites you to come to His Passover. So please, please come. Bring a friend. Bring yourself. Come and worship before the Lord. We, we don't want to get so stuck up in tradition that we miss what the Spirit is doing. And we can fall into two ditches. We can be so wrapped up in tradition where we ultimately deny the Lord. Or we can be so wrapped up in, well, this is what I feel. This is spirit. That's religion. This is love. That's, but we need to be right down the middle. Grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen? And so what he did was he took truth, which is the law of God. He took grace he meshed them together in himself and says, you can have the law of God on your heart and you can have grace and mercy at the same time and the working of the Spirit. So we don't want to deny the Spirit, but we also don't want to deny this is the Word of the Lord and think we have the Spirit but lose the Word. The Word agrees with the Spirit. The Spirit agrees with the Word. All right? So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for these people. I just, I bless them. I bless them. Lord, let them hear your words. May Jehovah bless you. May Jehovah keep you. May Jehovah lift his countenance upon you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. And your word says... I'll put my name on the children of Israel, and I'll bless them. In Jesus Christ's name, everyone said amen. God bless you. We love you so much. We love you so much. God is so, so good. Expect the unexpected. Let him blow out your traditions. Because that's where the glory's at. God bless you. We'll see you next week. We love you. You're dismissed.